Back here on CentralValleyTalk.com, the business segment, and we're joined by a couple of guests now, Michelle Moreno and Nellie Salinas. And, I, and welcome to the program here on CentralValleyTalk.com. Both of you, I'm glad you're here. Um, just for the sake of pronunciation, I want to have you say the name of your business. Okay, so we are representing Ballet Folklorico y Marimba de Fresno. See, I could never say that. <laughs> right, I'm, not, I'm not fluent in Spanish, so I, I, but it, it would be hard for me to pronounce, but, but go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay, so we are uh, Ballet Folklorico y Marimba de Fresno, and we are a nonprofit organization here in Central Valley. Okay. We instruct um, Ballet Folklorico dance, which is a Mexican traditional dance. And we also have um, marimba instruction, which is the traditional Mexican where they have the, the big long table thing in there. So it's like a phylophone. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. interesting. So it's a nonprofit. Uh, where do you get your money from? We have monthly fees. Um, it's $35 for your first child and then 25 for each additional. Um, so it's 35 bucks a month. Yes. 25 for any additional. Additional sibling. Any additional children? Yes. And um, so, how long have you been in business? Is this a thriving business that you have here? Is this a, a good nonprofit? Or? We, our group has been around since 1974. Wow. So we are local. Um, I guess it is thriving. Been around that long. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's mm -hmm. it's doing well. Still right. still going well. Mm -hmm. uh, and when did now? What is your position with the company and yours? Uh, my position is a dance coordinator of our dan uh, of our advanced dancers, okay. and then I am the band coordinator. You're the band coordinator. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me about people that want to uh, have their children participate in this organization, as far as the dance group is concerned, and and you know how young are the children, how old are the children? Do they usually stay with it? That kind of thing. Okay. So I'll talk about the dance. Okay. All right. So um, we typically recruit new dancers in September, just the, just like the start of the new school year. We have a new school year that starts with our dancers. Okay. Um, we like to have them come in in September. However, some people join us a little bit later, and that's okay. Um, so we are accepting new dancers. We start them at the age of four years old, uh, wow. and they go all the way up to adults. Um, we need boys. We need girls of all ages. Um, and again, like she said, we are $35 a month, $25 additional uh, for each child. Um, and the reason we're able to keep our fees so low is that we are a parent-run organization. And what that means is that all the parents that are involved in dance or band um, take, role, take a role in um, the nonprofit organization. So several of us are on the board. We make all the decisions that happens within the group. We do all the fundraising. Um, but we want to keep the fees down and low so that everybody can be able to afford to come. Oh, okay. So as long as we're collecting all of our dues from all of our members and we get donations from the community, we're able to stay alive. So you said you have boys and girls. Do you mm -hmm. have uh, more girls than boys right now? In some of the age groups, we do have more girls than boys. Do you need a partner to dance or can you? Do you, do you well, no? in some dances you do. Okay, but so not, that presents a little all. bit of a problem sometimes, sometimes. If, you, if you don't. Okay, so how do you encourage these people to join and stay? Well, we try to do it by reaching out to the schools and saying, hey, you know, we have this open house, we want you to come, we, we're, we're, we need new dancers, we need boys, and then usually if one boy joins, he'll bring a couple of his friends with him. And so <laughs> that's kind of what we hope for, you know. We kind of hope for families to come together. Several of the people in the group are related. So we have cousins and sisters and brothers that are all part of the group with us because we brought them with us. See, I would tend to think that it would be more difficult to attract the boys because they're more interested in, say, you know, football, baseball, basketball, maybe joining the golf team, the tennis team. They're out, you know, they're the macho guys. They're not going to mm -hmm. go for the dance. Am mm -hmm. I right? Partially. Is it, it is hard. It's hard. Uh, hard to be, recruit, huh? It's harder to recruit uh, within the grades of seventh to eighth grade. Um, or fifth to eighth grade because those boys are in football more in soccer more um, they don't want to be around the girls as much but once they get into high school then they start noticing the girls and we have a lot of girls in our group so sometimes they join just because we have cute little girls yeah <laughs> but you know but the little ones they go because their moms do drive them there and Nellie tell us about the recruiting where do you recruit where do you go to find these people because um, they're not 
Yeah, I mean, you, you have to have more than just the circle of people that you know. Yes. You've got to go out and get people you don't we, know. How do you do, do that? We do a lot of community performances. So when we're out, um, we do like mat, we've done mat events, um, EPU events. We've done local schools, high schools. Um, every year we have a recital, April or May. So that's hmm. open to the public. So people come and watch the recital and they decide they like and they'd like to join. Okay. Um, we also do, um, we have our Facebook page. So we post, you know, performances on there. Um, we answer questions on Facebook. Um, so we have different um, word of mouth, you know, other people, other. Yeah. Other, some of our dancers will let our, their friends know, their friends or the school will announce it or send out a flyer. So. Everybody's welcome to come and check out the class and see if it's something they would like. Do you to work with school districts? Not directly, no. Not directly. Yeah. But how do you get the word out to the people on campus? Oh, students the school on will sometimes contact us if they're having like a single de Mayo performance or if they're having an open house and they'd like us, our group to show up, we'll, we'll go and do community events. So tell us about the band. Okay, so the band right now consists of all girls. Uh, we <laughs> what have, a surprise. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we have a uh, marima player. Uh, we have bass players. We have congas. We have um, ukulele players. Wow. We, we wow. have a trumpet player. Ukulele. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's unusual. Yeah. Um, our instructor is uh, Stanley Lucero. Okay. And so he actually incorporates all of the instruments yeah. um, into different genres. So we the girls can play, you know, Selena, Cumbias, and they can play um, Phil Collins, too. So he kind of adds a little bit of everything so all the kids are able to learn different kind of music. Yeah. And some kids are like, oh, my mom listens to that, or my dad listens to that, or that's my favorite. You know, we have one little girl that, my grandma likes all this music. <laughs> See, that's the thing. I mean, music is so universal. Dance is universal. Anybody can join. Anybody can do the dance. It uh, doesn't matter what, uh, what culture... Uh, you're used to, you come from, whatever your background, it's the one thing that brings people together, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. Dance and music. Yep. yep. And you're having, uh, uh, tell us about recruiting, is it easy? Once people see the performers actually in their costumes, um, the little girls want to mimic what they're doing. They want to wear the shoes, they want to wear the dresses. So, so if they see us, perform yes. perform in costume. Yes. yes. And so full what do makeup. the costumes look like? And full makeup. <laughs> full makeup. <laughs> what do the costumes look like? They're very colorful. Um, they're very big. Flowy. The girls' dresses are usually very flowy because they do a lot of the skirt movements yeah. where they do like the way, like it's, the, the dresses are dancing basically. And I want to stress, you don't have to be Hispanic to join this, right? Absolutely not. You can be any faith, culture, mm -hmm. of any kind, right? Everyone is welcome Across to the join. Board. Across the board. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. And so, any age from the age four and up. So. Okay. So where do people get in touch with you? Are you guys on social media? Are you guys, do you guys have a phone number, a website, we an do. email? We do. Tell, tell us <laughs> everything. Okay, so we're located at 5722 Kings Canyon Avenue. We're right behind the Bank of America on Kings Canyon and what is that little street? I'm not sure the street, but it's right next to the Javier's restaurant, and everybody knows where Javier's restaurant is because there's well, only not one. everybody. <laughs> you don't know where that's at? Well, I might know where it's at, but everybody doesn't know that part of town. It's southeast Fresno, yes. and I believe that's near Kings Canyon, Kings and, Clovis. Canyon and Clovis Avenue, Avenue yes. right? It's just east, I believe. If you go a little bit east, yes. so your dance group is located behind there? The Bank mm -hmm. of America. There's the Bank of behind America. Behind the Bank of yeah. America there. I think I know where that is. Yeah, yeah. we're kind yeah. of hidden. There's hit a it. dollar store there. Yes. Yes. Right? Uh-huh. Okay, all right, and and the phone number, phone number. Okay, so our phone number is 559-301-7186. Okay. And that's... That's a standard number. That's a number that we have that's right now. That's the main number. Is yeah. there an email? Is there a website? Is there Facebook? You can find us on Facebook under... What's it called? But I mean to find you on Facebook. Oh, okay, it's Grupo BFMF. So okay. G R U P O B F M F. Hey, how about a web page? Is there no no web page yet or uh, not, not yet? Webs, no. Okay. Okay, but we do have an email, and again, it's G R U P O B F M F at gmail dot com. It's too bad you can't do a little demonstration right here as to what the dance is like. <laughs> You're laughing. Are what? You, <laughs> is he trying to get us to get up and dance? <laughs> Maybe both of you. 
Huh? You can't do that? <laughs> no. No. It, it really, it but really our, does The not. talent, it lies within our kids. Not it us. Does. <laughs> it does. Really does. All right. Michelle and Nellie, thank you so much for coming yeah. on. And the phone number one more time so people can call in. 559-301-7186. Okay, Michelle, Nellie, thank you so much, and good luck with your business. I appreciate you coming on to CentralValleyTalk.com. Thank you for having us. All right, good luck. All right, and this has been the business segment here on CentralValleyTalk.com. Don't forget to attend the open house Saturday, September 30th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. with dancing, food and drinks, and on-site enrollment, all happening at 5722 East Kings Canyon.